different people study with Chen Mencheng, and among the, the uh, earlier six students and the later six students, there were different characters and different types of people. And what, what they would get was what they could get, what, they, what, what fit into their personality and their strengths. Uh, some of them got the martial part fairly well, and some of them got the philosoph philosophy, and some of them got the health and longevity. Uh, Maggie Newman got uh, the yin energy really, really well. And she was able to, after that in her teaching, look at bodies and watch the bodies move and give people the advice that they needed for people who were studying with her and knew that that's what she did in a, in a very high level. She had also had studied uh, um, karate and, and she was a kabuki dancer, and, you know, named mm. in uh, Kabuki, uh, a master Kabuki dancer. So she had all that, and she had been a world-class modern dancer before that, so she had that body movement thing. Um, Stanley had been a, a national judo level, uh, you know, guy, and he was all into the martial part of the thing like that, and so he got a lot of that, and he mm -hmm. refined that, and he taught that. Uh, Ed Young was a little more into the philosophical part, and I think he got he got that very well. He sort of, to me he looks like a, a tall Yoda, the, the, you know, like the, the, the magic guy, and, and, I, and he's a and he's a, an artist as well. So he had that he got that stuff. You, you, I think that you, you you can only get what you can accept that goes along with your personality and who you are. And there are very few people who are as totally sane enough and open enough to be able to get the whole thing from anybody. Mm -hmm. And then the people that take it further will, will change the, the form and what they do like that relative to their own character and their own physical physicality. Uh, they'll, they'll, they, they can't do exactly what the Master did, and even though they might want to. So uh, I've seen very few people who had what Chen and Cheng had, Mm -hmm. But I've seen people who had enough of it, so it's really good for them and good for their whatever it is their goal is. Mm -hmm. The goals in Tai Chi, uh, Tai Chi is not like yoga or Kung Fu. Tai Chi has the possibility of different of a, um, achieving different goals. Of course, one of the goals is martial. Tai Chi is a high level martial art, and if that's what you're studying, that will take you there. Uh, tai Chi is an, uh, an excellent exercise system, period. But, uh, tai Chi is, uh, has a, a philosophy, the Taoist philosophy within it. The, the, the Tai Chi symbol, that old Tai Chi symbol, is exactly what we do. That is, we, are, we do a, a physical movement that actually is that symbol. We take it and turn it. I have a, I, I just read a little bit of the thing that I brought with me. To, to, uh, you're, you got running out of film? No, oh. that's fine. It's fine. Oh. Uh, I, I have a little, to, to a paragraph, a page that I, that I would like to read about that also. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got what I needed. What is that? I'm, I'm not going to be a push hands champion nor a fighter with Tai Chi. I, I don't care about that anymore. I got health. Philosophy, longevity, and happier. <laughs> I think that's a little more important than being able to fight or do certain other things. Mm. Uh, and that's what I wanted. And other people, they're, you know, like Mario, he got the, 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 the push hands and the fighting thing, and he's very happy with that. And he got that through Stanley, through that particular channel. Uh, so that's what I have decided to stress, and that's what I'm, I'm looking to, to, talk, to talk about. And, and one other thing that I'm sort of experimenting with now is that there is hardly anything else in within the disciplinary systems of any kinds of these arts where people put their hands on each other and experience their other person's energy. That I think is an incredible thing. And it if it if you can do that either with the, the, the contrast, with the fighting contrast, or with the push hands contrast, or just with exchanging energy, all those things are very, very real and important to me. And that's the most important one for me. I want to have a physical experience with someone where we exchange energy and it can be 
competition energy or it can be loving energy. And these things should be possible because this has, the, has that kind of a system. Nothing else does. Everything else, like Gong Fu's, they're basically against each other. Win or lose, da da da. And Tai Chi, I think, has that possibility that nothing else has. Yoga doesn't have that. They don't interchange, they don't touch each other. Gong, gong Fu's don't that either. I don't know what does. I asked uh, when I, I just came from. France, and I asked the whole group, Do you, does anyone know any, any other discipline or system where you join with somebody else and moving back and forth like that? And Lin said, the two man saw. And I remember Chen Man Cheng said that. He said, it's a little bit pushing it like the two man saw. And in the two man saw, the energy is used in a similar way. It's about sensitivity. So if you're using, if you're one of the two man sawyers, you pull the saw, then you, it's a cut. It's a pull cut. It's a pull cut instrument. You pull it, and the other person just needs to have a little weight on it, but no pushing at all. And you pull, and, what? and then when it stops and it changes, then you just, you can't push at all. You just follow the other person, and, and, and that's right. And Chin Man Chai had said that. I forgot. And she, she reminded me, and that's, that's true. Uh, if it's not a sensitivity exercise, to me, that's its main point. When you're working with somebody else, you need to find, because of the contact, you find the intelligence within the contact to feel what the other person is doing relative to you, because you're doing this together, and, and feel everything. So that's why when I do, there's one sword movement I do, because there you're feeling it through two instruments, that you move the sword together in contact, back and forth, at a certain angle, in a certain position, back and forth, and you establish a rhythm, and then you close your eyes. And it's amazing because most of the people who do it, who don't, who say, oh my God, well, can do it. Because they, they can't see anymore, they have to feel the source being in contact. And that's the kind of thing that I, that's the, the goal for me, is to have that happen. It's become more sensitive to another human being and have a relationship mm. through an instrument of the Tao or through our hands and our, our body. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes it can be also very tough if you're very sensitive uh, to other people. So, you know what I'm talking about? No. So sometimes if someone is a funny, a funny person, for example, and you're sensitive, it also has an effect. So you need to also be able to deal with what you well, say. that's part of it, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, you can actually put your, your voice in that when you're editing, right? Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, Sure, that's exactly it. Sometimes I'm, I'm pushing with somebody, even watching the form, somebody is like, it starts from the beginning, it's like therapy. You're watching this class do the form and there's this one person there who's way ahead. I say, why do you want to be ahead? What are you doing out there? Everybody else is behind you and what, hmm? is that because you're aggressive? Is that whatever? You're afraid of being behind? And, it, it, and it's a wonderful instrument. It's, it's better than psychoanalysis. As mm -hmm. as I and push hands. Well, the thing about push hands is that it's so much more complicated. Fencing with the sword is so simple because you only have one contact place, and, and so you could. That's why I start fencing so quickly because it teaches you so much about the rest of Tai Chi, and especially push hands, because it was all there. So you, it's like in, in push hands you have your head, you have your elbows, your knees, your, <laughs> your hands, you know, uh, and in in. Um, in fencing, you have that one point of contact, and it all revolves, in sort of sense, around that. That's why I chose it. Well, it's, it's not just that. I, so I liked swords when I was a little boy, right away. I, so I started playing with sticks. Probably comes from a past life. <laughs> <laughs>